hello to everybody. Welcome to our coverage of the first day of the competition. And welcome to today's match. An overused phrase, but uh, everyone really does start out equal on this day. Stature and reputation and history, all irrelevant, albeit momentarily. This is the game everybody, no matter who they support, can be just a little bit hopeful about. Maybe it's their time. Just maybe. And the mood is boisterous. It is a perfect ambiance for the central characters who are ready now to perform. And as you can see, we've already started here. And we have our very first corner. Defending of the desperate for he's going for goal Just couldn't stay down for him. Well, the invitation was there So he was right in my opinion to take it on alas. It was uh, a technical flaw Mbappe. Well, that is one way to stop him. Oh, good ball! Messi is flagged offside. Mbappe. He's got away. And there's the clearance. Bernardo Silva! He's got away with one there. Moved on forwards. Ball's gone astray. The referee has given a corner. Paris Saint-Germain, corner number two then. Tottenham can start a counter here. Join this well, you've missed no goals. Another Silva. Kaka. Oh, facing up to his adversary. And Messi! Good try. The outcome could so easily have been different. Messi must have been hit by a flash of doubt then. He complicated what looked like an easy opportunity. And it's Lewandowski. Son Hyung min Madison! It's loose now and they want to get it back. Madison showed plenty of zest in getting to the ball but couldn't quite sort it out. Now looking to orchestrate a counter. And that pass isn't the best. And it's played forward. Oh, that's delightful. Oh, he's not played the ball, that's a foul. And it's 
lofted through here. Can he put it away? Kaka! And the assistant referee has his flag raised for offside. Bernardo Silva, and it's Lewandowski. Two well, he had a really minutes. good run of goal indicated. there, but the defence just weren't going to let him pass. I just think, though, that was selfish and, and a little uncalled for him. He must have been... And that is going to be the final action of the first half. Truth be told, perhaps it's not the game that many anticipated, but there is lots to be seen in it, lots to be taken from it. Plenty for the key figures to mull over but it remains goalless. So we reach the halfway point. Paris Saint-Germain really did turn up the tempo at the end of the half, and while they'll be disappointed not to have broken through, obviously, the chances will come, provided they can keep producing good spells. It's been a half with significantly more positives than negatives, I feel. So they head in, no further forward. The score here, still nil-nil. And we're already back on the way here. Paris Saint-Germain clearly have been the better side for me. Yeah, I know the score doesn't quite reflect it, but if they go about their game in the, in the same manner as the opening 45 minutes, things really should improve. Mbappe. Now it's Bernardo Silva. Bernardo Silva! It's bounced out. He scored! Just the pick. So much sophistication as doggedness and sheer bloody mindedness. Listen, he would have been advised to do that as a kid, and it's obviously etched in his mind now. After 58 minutes, is number 25. Paris Saint-Germain take the lead. Well, whatever the manager said in that dressing room at half-time, it's worth the treat. The attendance for this match was 71,550. So, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, I think it's pretty clear. The message is to get... Great hit! It's run loose. Who's going to get there? Oh, what a wonderful stop! Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. And that has been cleared. Oh dear, less said about that pass, the better. But this is exactly the approach they have to take now, Peter. There is an irresistible, irrepressible look about them here. Spot on, Peter. Out to the left it goes. Suma, Bernardo Silva producing a good steal there, showing a good level of alertness. Substitution in progress.
substitution for Paris Saint-Germain. Number nine, Robert Lewandowski. Number 18, number 11. Milinkovic Savic. He's right oh, 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 the ball's run loose here. Jules Kunde. Number 22, Kapil. Coming on the field, number 21, Erling Haaland. Number eight, Sergei Milinkovic Savic. Number four, Neymar. Number Size two, Size really matters, Hakimi. and it's time to make number it matter 20, now. Deco. So the number four coming up here. Oh, that's a key interception. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Now it's Haaland. Milinkovic Savic. It's anyone's ball. Has a shot! He should have put that one away. Messi has reacted in utter shock here. For him, the keeper has pulled off the impossible. Paris Saint-Germain just have to run down the clock. And he'll shoot here! Oh, and they really should have been made to pay. Substitutions taking place. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded, and as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think that's happened in this case. Saint-Germain, they're up to five corners now. Gets his head to it! A great save, real class. The keeper really dug out his defence then, a magnificent effort. Haaland. Messi. And that's it. Paris Saint-Germain, hold on. It's a narrow sweep, bit of luck, some judgment. 1-0 the score at the final whistle. Bruno Mendes taking in the accolades, having been named man of the match, and deservedly so. Well, this game looked to have nil-nil written all over it, but credit to them. The